Hello everyone. Welcome to this video series on database management system. So in the previous video, we have seen uh, what are what is null values and how are they considered while executing SQL queries. And in this video, we are going to look at complex integrity constraints in SQL. Okay. So only the title is mentioned as complex, but they are very simple. So in this, we are going to look at two types of constraints. One is check constraint, another one is domain constraint. Okay. And both of these constraints are table constraints. Okay. We apply them on a table. That is, uh, we, are, we will apply them on one or more columns in a table. Okay. So first, what is a check constraint is, if you want to check for some conditions that the data should meet, either in one or more columns, we will use something called as check constraint. Okay. Uh, for example, so let's say you are giving ratings to products and in your table, you have a rating column. Okay. And the rating value should be um, always greater than one. It should not be less than one. In such case, you can check for that using check constraint. Okay, so first let's look at the check constraint, how to apply it. So while you are creating the table, that is when you are writing the SQL query, you can add something called check. Okay, so it's a keyword which you can use like this. So here mm, we have a salary column and the name of the table is employees. So, so we have a requirement that the salary of any employee should not be less than 10,000. Okay, so that's why we are checking for salary is greater than or equal to 10,000. Okay, so this constraint is checked on the DBMS side. So it has nothing to do with the application. So if the user who is using your application is giving a value which is less than 10,000, for example, 9,000, so the DBMS is going to raise an error. Okay. So I'm showing you practically how this works. So in the MySQL command prompt, I am writing the insert query and we have one, two, three, four, five, six columns. Okay. And this is the salary column. So the value I'm giving is 8,000, but it should be greater than or equal to 10,000. So since I have given or given a less value or I am violating the check constraint, so that's why it is giving an error. And what is the error message? Check constraint is violated. Okay, so it has given some default name to the check constraint. It is auto auto given. I, I didn't give any name for this, so it is giving the name itself. So it is saying the check constraint is violated. Okay, so it is pretty simple. So whatever conditions you want to check, you can give them like this in the table definition. Uh, of course, you can create, you can give this after creating the table also by using the alter command. Okay. So that is it about the check constraint. And the second one is domain constraint. So here domain means the range of values a particular column takes. Okay. So you already know about data types. Okay, like int, care, where care, float, date, etc. So if you take integer, it has some minimum value and also maximum value. So similarly, uh, if you want to create any new domains, that is a new data type with your own specified range, then you can go for domain constraints. So how to create domain constraint means this is the syntax, create domain keyword and this is the domain name my domain name which i am giving the new domain name which is val rating that is valid rating okay a valid rating and i am creating this new domain based on the existing data type which is int integer okay so my val rating data type is going to take integer values and the default value i am assigning is one okay so if no value is given 
one will be taken as by default okay and i am also checking that whether whatever value i am giving using value rating is in between 1 and 10 okay so the value should be within the range 1 to 10 only if i have given if i am giving 0 or even 11 12 something like that it is going to create an error okay so that's it about complex integrity, integrity constraints so we have two of them one is check constraint another one is domain constraint so you know in mysql there is uh, no possibility of creating domain constraints so that is why i am not showing you a demo but this is the general way in which you can create domain constraint okay so in the next video you are going to see embedded sql right so please like the video and subscribe to my channel for latest notifications and if you have any doubts you can comment below the video thank you